This is the New Balance 990 V6 Baklava, a collaboration between New Balance and Renaissance man, rapper, chef, TV host, fighting enthusiast, Action Bronson. And this shoe is wacky. It's exactly what you'd expect to come from the mind of Action Bronson because he's made a career out of doing things 100% unapologetically his way. So we're gonna cut this thing in half and see if it's just another sellout collab that a celeb slapped their name on or is there a method behind the madness that we can actually test and put real numbers to and analyze from a material science perspective. And to try to understand if this is method or madness or both, we need to look at his history and the choices he made that led to this shoe. And it all started in 1983 on December 2nd, where Aryan Aslani was born, AKA Action Bronson, AKA Bronsolino, AKA Bam Bam, AKA Mr. Wonderful, AKA M. Bison himself, AKA Corcordillo Turbo, AKA John Voigt from the Snake Movie, AKA Dr. Baklava is born in Queens, New York, to an Albanian immigrant father and a Jewish New York mother. And he grew up in his father's Mediterranean restaurant learning from his Albanian grandmother. That's where he developed this sense for the kitchen and the love of the culinary arts all while having this love of rap and art and graffiti. And in 2009 is really when we see the first hints of Action Bronson in his videos, Action in the Kitchen, and it's shockingly consistent and very much Action Bronson and on brand. And we'll come back to that on brand concept later. And in 2011, Action breaks his leg in the kitchen, which propels him into really starting his rap career since he had nothing but downtime. And he independently released two albums in 2011, which are Dr. Lecter and Well Done. And those albums are super different, especially compared to the music at the time. And Action describes them as not having hooks or bridges. He'd rather just say some shit or just cough, more of a comedic focus rather than just repeating stuff. And then in March of 2012, after releasing another mixtape titled Blue Chips, he signs with Warner Brother Records through Vice. And the crazy thing about this is he turned down a deal with Sony and went with Vice because he said, Vice is more up my alley, they do fun that means something. I took a little less money, but it worked out in the long run. And 99% of people would have just taken the initial money and ran, but action went with his gut and it paid off in a big way because going to Vice instead of Sony led to a ton of opportunities outside of just rap. It helped start his TV career in 2014 with his cooking travel adventure show, that's delicious. And in 2015, his first non-mixtape debut album, Mr. Wonderful, comes out with one of my personal favorites, Baby Blue. And that success led to two more shows, Traveling the Stars with Action Bronson and Friends Watching Ancient Aliens in 2016, and the Untitled Action Bronson Show in 2017. And those shows are crazy. They are, once again, unapologetically, 100% Action Bronson and on brand. But in 2018, Action announces he's leaving Vice so that he can continue to do things exactly the way he wants, which was followed by the release of his White Bronco album. And Action has said, I can't be held, I can't be told what to do, I'm trying so hard not to do an Action Bronson accent. When referencing the Vice media, I crave my own lane, you have to write your own narrative and you're the author of your own story. And then from 2018 to 2022, Action has gone independent, releasing two more albums, brought back That's Delicious, releasing on YouTube instead of cable. And March 17th, 2023 of this year, this shoe gets released. And so it's clear that Action has always gone with his gut, turned down money for creative freedom, taken huge risks, and just turned everything up to an 11. And it's paid off big. And that's because it's not just on brand, because it's obvious there's, there is no brand. It's just Action Bronson being Action Bronson. From Action in the Kitchen up to 2023, it's just Action Bronson. And to be honest, he's a complete enigma to me because I, I can't tell if he's just some sort of intuitive genius, some calculated mastermind, or if he just happens to get lucky over and over and over. So let's find out by analyzing this shoe, starting with the material I know best, which is leather, because this leather is wild. I've never seen this quality of leather on a sneaker. This is a new buck pigskin. And, and we've only seen this high quality of a pigskin on the World War II Japanese boot which was made like 70 years ago when they actually used to make decent quality products. And the thing that makes pigskin so unique is, is it's a lot tighter grain pattern, so it's stronger. And at the thinner thicknesses, it's a lot stronger than cowhide. It's more breathable, it's more pliable, it maintains its properties when it's wet. And then when it dries, it doesn't become fragile and crack like cowhide does. And that's why a lot of work gloves, every time I bought work gloves for various jobs I've had, I always go with pigskin because of these properties. And on top of that, this is a new buck leather, which means it's significantly stronger and more durable than a regular suede on 99.9% .9 of sneakers out there. And that's because it has remnants of that structural grain pattern at the cross section of the leather because they just sand it down to give it that microfiber look. So pretty wild to have that high quality of a leather. This shoe is $220. It is made in the United States, but is Action's 
choice of leather actually better? Because apparently Action knows his stuff about leather. He's vis visited tanneries. That's what I'm saying. I've been in the tanneries and I've seen it. Yeah. He knows the lighter test. They better f pass the test when they f put the lighter to it. And fortunately, we've already cut apart the 990 V5, so we have New Balance's stock pigskin leather to test against Action's. And so we did the lighter test first, Action's performed better. We did the puncture test, Action's performed better. And we compared these leathers on a microscopic level and Action's is a little bit thicker, has a little bit more of the grain, and is basically better in every single way. So super smart choice on the leather from Action, but was it all just luck? Well, let's look at the reflective panels because this stuff is crazy. And just give me one minute to geek out over the material science so you can flex on your friends. I promise it's worth it. So how does this reflective material work? Well, 3M's reflective material uses retro reflective technology to incorporate thousands of microscopic beads or prisms into reflective material. In low light, when this material is illuminated by a light source, such as a vehicle headlight, it returns light rays back to the vehicle driver. This is basically a million little teeny spider eyeballs. Like have you ever shown a flashlight on your lawn and seen the little speckles, the little bright lights? Spider eyeballs. Same concept here. The spherical eyeballs work where they collect light and focus it at the back of the eyeball and then reflect it back visibly stronger because of the directional focus that is caused by the nearly three-dimensional mirror that is an eyeball causing that light to bounce in focus and bounce back out. And it's the exact same principle of why cat eyeballs glow. I don't know where Toaster's at, he's here somewhere. And this stuff looks crazy under the macro lens because you can see each individual bead and it feels like I'm on a little bit of the Ancient Aliens show that Action Bronson has done because it, it, this actually, with the colors that he's done this with, it is a really like psychedelic macroscopic episode here, especially the 3M reflective stuff because you can actually see the light hitting those beads and centering and bouncing back towards the camera. It's wild. And these colors are that final key to this whole story because this is either the most perfect accident or Action knows exactly what he's doing. Because most colorways you see in sneakers are gonna be either monochromatic, complementary, or rarely you see kind of a triadic colorway. But with this shoe, you have lime green, purple, orange and blue, which at first glance just looks crazy and chaotic. But after about one second, your eye says, hey, why, why do I like this? What about this shoe is actually catching my eyeball? It looks chaotic, but it's in, my eyeball is enjoying it. And that's because this is a tetradic color scheme. So this looks like chaos, but it's a beautiful chaos. It's a harmonious chaos. And we've been trying to pin this whole act, enigma of Action Bronson and what he does is authenticity, 100% his way. That seems to be it. It seems like the whole Action Bronson thing is chaotic harmony, which is what seems to be chaos on the outside is harmony on the inside. But is that echoed in the shoe? Well, we can't tell because we can't see what's on the inside. So we gotta cut it in half, so let's do that. See if it is harmony on the inside or just chaos on the outside or both. All right, we got it cut in half. It smells, it actually smells really good. So let's see what's inside. There's way more baklava in here than we expected. I've never seen this much baklava on a shoe. It's crazy. So even on the inside, you can see there's little elements of Action Bronson in here because you can see this line of green going all the way through underneath of the insole and the lighting material that no one would ever see. They could easily remove this material, use a different material. It doesn't need to be this neon green, but they left it in there, which is really fun. And 
Part of the issue with that though, is that it's caused a little bit of a flaw in this shoe. And it's only in one of the four shoes that we have of this model, but that lining bunches up and creates really hard high pressure spots underneath the insole. And, and like I said, it's not something that I would expect to see in every single shoe, but it's something that I would definitely check if I ordered a pair of these. So is Action Bronson intuitive genius? Is he lucky or is he a plotting mastermind? Well, he's clearly not just lucky because there is a method behind the madness. But is it natural intuition or is he a plotting mastermind? I honestly don't know. I, I can't tell if he's just developed a high level of intuition and taste because of everything he's done that can be broken down in a, a methodical color scheme analysis, material science way, or if he's actually using material science and color theory to make it seem like he's got crazy intuition and it just comes natural to him. I have no idea, honestly. We've put a lot of effort into this. Me and Sam dug through everything to try to figure this out, try to get a full understanding of Action Bronson. But ultimately, this is an Action Bronson shoe through and through. It perfectly represents Action Bronson and the harmonious chaos that has been present in everything he's done and created, starting from Action in the Kitchen all the way up to this shoe. It's been consistent and I think we've gotten close to, to solving this enigma. But this was a really fun way to look at Action Bronson's career from a new angle. Instead of just a surface level facts, the shoe allows us to have like this microcosm to analyze the history, the aesthetic, and the, and the theory of an artist, which helps us pull these tiny little specific details. It's very similar to the historical videos and it's been really, really fun. So thank you guys so much for your support and let me know what you think. And a new colorway of the sneaker just dropped, so check them out via the links below. And we're, and we're working on a, a V5 versus V6 video to go through more of the actual materials instead of just all action Bronson. So that'll be coming out soon. So thank you guys for everything. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing because this video took a lot of work. Sam grinded for a long time, putting a lot of information together, trying to figure out this enigma of action Bronson. So thank you guys. And uh, I love doing this. So thank you. See ya.